Hi, welcome to the Musical Homestead. My name is Jenny. Today we're gonna have some fun practicing scales. And you heard me correctly, I said fun and scales in the same sentence. So if you're ready, let's get started. As a musician, I know how important it is to practice our scales, our arpeggios, our broken chords, any other technique that we're supposed to. I also know as a musician and a teacher, we don't always want to do that and we don't always do what we're supposed to do. I can't tell you how many times I've had students come back and I can tell they haven't practiced their technique and their scales the way I've asked them to, and it's just not good. So here's the deal. I have come up with a few fun ways to practice scales, not just the normal typical, play it up, play it down, do it five times correctly. We're gonna add a little bit of twist to it today and have a little fun along the way. So I'm kind of excited. If you wanna follow along, I have everything printed off on a sheet and you can find it linked in the description below or at my website at themusicalhomestead.com. Make sure you click on the video materials and find practicing scales is fun. All right, let's get started and have some fun practicing our scales. This sheet can be used with any of our scales, our broken chords, our arpeggios, any of those different types of techniques. Today, I'm gonna to choose to do a C major scale, two octaves. I'm also gonna to choose to turn a metronome on so I can work on keeping a nice steady beat. My metronome for today will be at 100, and I'm gonna get two notes to every one click. If we're ready, we're gonna get started. The first one is just a legato scale. Easy, we can do that, so let's give it a try. What we're used to practicing. Now we'll change it up a little bit. Let's make it staccato. having trouble with. I'm going to play my right hand staccato and my left hand legato. So let's see if I can do that today. Yes, I did it. Okay, now we're going to switch left hand staccato, right hand legato. So I'm going to start piano, crescendo to forte at the top, and come back to piano at the bottom. Now let's maybe go backwards. Let's start forte, go to piano, and come back. Here we go. hand's going to be forte. So you'll hear more of my left hand than the right hand. Now I'm going to try to switch it up. Ah, so which hand's louder? Okay, I think my right hand's going to be louder this time. doing this one. We're going to play with our eyes closed. That way we're just feeling it on the piano. So here we go. Gives us a good feel for what's happening. I'm going to turn the metronome off for a minute. Another fun thing that we're going to do is I want you to think about your very favorite animal. So close your eyes, think about it. Is it a I don't know, a giraffe maybe, or an elephant. What else could it be? Any animal. And try to play like your favorite animal. So if I wanted to say a sloth, my favorite animal is a sloth, I'm gonna do one octave of my C scale as a sloth. So here we go. Might get to the branch tomorrow.
think maybe we're only gonna make it up into the tree today. Oh, okay, he made it. Now he's tired, he's gonna take a nap. Another one I put on here is what about a porcupine? Hmm, what would a porcupine do? I think it would be really fast. Let's try it. So if we do a porcupine. Fast and prickly. So maybe staccato, what I, like what I just did. I kind of like that. The third one I put on this sheet is a cheetah. I know that my kids, my students love cheetahs. They go super fast. So I'm gonna see if I can do a super fast cheetah. Here we go. That cheetah was really fast. Now here's the deal when you do any of these. It's really important you still remember your fundamentals with your scales. Both hands have to be playing at the exact same time. We wanna keep with the metronome at this together, so that way we're keeping it nice and steady. Keep your technique that your teacher has taught you about. Make sure your fingers are curved. Make sure you're doing all of those things that your teacher's taught you about. Don't lose any of that. But did you realize how many times I just played one scale? I'd have to count, but it was a lot. And I had fun while I was doing it. So here's the deal. I want you to give this a try. And in the comments below, let me know if you have any other fun ways to practice scales or if you just had fun doing these. Each day you could pick a new scale and go through all of these. Or maybe each day just pick one. So I'm going to play all my scales staccato today. I'm going to play all my scales where my right hand's staccato and my left hand's legato. I'm going to have some fun with this. You can't have fun practicing scales, I promise. And scales are gonna help you so much as you get farther and farther along in your musical journey. So if you had fun, do us a favor, give, us a, give this video a thumbs up, click the subscribe button so you know when there's more fun coming, and turn on the bell. That way you know right away when there's a new video. Until I see you next time, have fun learning music. Bye.